Close this election is a big one for Congressional District 38. That's one of the brand new districts created in Texas after the 2020 census. Janelle Bluda has more on who's competing and why this primary may be bigger than the November election. Yeah, guys, well, roughly 6,000 people early voted here at Jurgens Hall Community Center in Cyprus. They had one of the biggest turnouts in the county, and as you can see, it's still very busy. It also happens to be part of the new Congressional District 38. After the 2020 census, Texas gained two new districts. The first drawn in the Austin area is District 37, and it's overwhelmingly Democratic, while the one drawn in the Houston area, the 38th district, is solidly Republican. One of the primary contestants in this race is Republican Wesley Hunt. He ran and lost in a very close race against U.S. Congresswoman Lizzie Fletcher. Political experts say when it came time to draw this new district, state lawmakers clearly made a compromise, drawing this district to primarily favor Republicans while adding more Democratic voters to Lizzie Fletcher's District 7, giving her a high chance of winning the general election. That was sort of like a trade-off so that she could have a district where it seems as though clearly uh, it's an opportunity district today for Democrats. Uh, back in 2020, we would have considered that to be a swing district. It could have gone either way. So there are a lot of candidates in this race, 10 on the Republican ticket and three on the Democratic. With so many candidates, it's possible this could go to a runoff, especially for Republicans. If that happens, that election could be even bigger than November with Republicans heavily favored to take the district. Now, if there is a runoff, that will happen in May, but all of that will be decided tonight. Reka? Yeah, definitely a race we're watching. Thank you so much, Janelle.